What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. 2022 Bowman Inception Baseball just sold out. This is the eight-box half-case break. Two random teams each, number three from a fresh case, guys. 15 total spots. Everybody gets two random teams at MLB. Remember, find two autographs per hobby box. So here's the dice roller. Here's the customer names. We're going to double up your guys' names, of course. Bo. There's 30 teams. Click dice roll. So four and a four, eight the hard way. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight times, eight times. Marcus down to Jared. Four and a four. Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight times. Phillies down to the Texas Rangers. All right. So, Marcus, you have the Phillies. David Yang with the Padres last by Mojo. Michael L. with the Reds. Marcus with the Mets. Tristan with the Reds. Carl with the Blue Jays. David with the Rays. Marcus with the Orioles, Royals. Uh, Michael with the Astros, Steven with the Marlins, Josh with the Guardians, Daniel with the Angels, Paul with the Cardinals, uh, Maloon with the Twins, Tristan with the Mariners, A's, Marcus with the Braves, Paul with the Dodgers, Marcus with the D-backs, Jared with the Giants, Maloon with the um, Nationals, Tristan with the Cubs, Josh with the Yankees, Daniel with the Tigers, Steven with the uh, White Sox, Carl with the Brewers, Michael with the Pirates, Rockies, and then Jared with the Texas Rangers. So again, I'll pause the video, guys, see if there's any trades. If not, we'll come back and we will rip open a half case of Inception. Alrighty, guys, welcome back. No trades, so let's stick to what you got and print and rip. Yeah, man, I mean, he's going to learn for sure, and hopefully this is a learning lesson for him. Look, ain't nothing wrong going to the club, especially the one he went to, right? James Harden does that every night. But James Harden ain't flashing a gun <laughs> while he's there. All right, here we go. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. Eight there. All right, left or right here, guys. One, two, three for the left. Four, five, six for the right. Is what we're gonna use here. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's it's true. I mean, no one's ever perfect, but it's just obviously, you just have to be smarter, you know. Maybe don't go live in that video <laughs> for the whole world to see. Five. One, two, three for the left. Four, five, six for the right. Just makes you appreciate, like, you know, someone like LeBron James. Really think about it. When has he ever been been caught in something bad or looked bad for him? You know what I mean? Like, if you think of all these other players, like, I mean, even, I mean, even to say, like, Kobe, right? I mean, obviously, he faced some kind of bad stuff in the early 2000s, right? With, with like, an assault, you know, or, you know, the R word. But it didn't go through. But, you know what I mean? Like, a lot of these players face something at some point, but it just makes you think, man, LeBron James has just been perfect so far. I don't know Terry. I know something that came out with him and like uh, 
Him supposedly a guy filing for that assault that LeBron that uh, sorry that uh, John ja Morant like beat him. You know, something like that recently with John ja Morant, but Darrell uh, Hernandez, Felix Valerio. <coughs> Christian Vaccaro, 299. John, <coughs> excuse me. Jonathan Mejia, 250. <coughs> That's for the St. Louis Cardinals, Paul. And then Benny Montgomery. <coughs> Jesus, what's going on? <coughs> well, yeah, Derek. <laughs> You guys ever, you, you see that post right, Dila? I'm sure a lot of people have. Um, that post of Derek Jeter's, like, starting lineup <laughs> of all the women he's been with. Crazy. He has a whole starting outfield, infield, and pitcher catcher. <coughs> Excuse me. Jackson Jove. Jonathan Clay's to 50. And Iverson Ortega to 25. And Eddie's Leonard to 75. He'll be fine though, Terry. Don't worry. I mean, John Moran obviously on the court still gonna be fine, but obviously this kind of does hurt a little bit. But obviously, like I said, he's still young enough and can make a better example in the future. So, I mean, it's not like he like sexually assaulted somebody or beat up, you know, or you know what I mean, like something like that crazy that where somebody's like, you know, <laughs> somebody did something really bad, like a Ray Rice type of deal. You know, obviously he's it's just kind of like you need to grow up, man. You know, right? You're, you're not just you're not just this 22-year-old kid anymore or whatever. You know how old he is. I'm sure he's probably around like 22, right? I figure he is. Came in as a draft was at a 19-year-old. He's been in the league for, what, three years now? Probably like 22 years old. Colas. We have a 5 of 5. Jackson Shirio. Nice. And that is for the Milwaukee Brewers. Going to Carl. So the numbered cards were actually in the middle this time. To 99, Michael Hernandez. And then we got Rain Duncan. To 250. Sal Frelick to 50. Uh, I'm not a big prospect guy, Terry, but I mean, from what I know and hear of, yes, he is a pretty good, good player. He also has a younger brother, uh, on the Guardians that's like 17 years old, Jason Chirillo. But yeah, Jackson Chirillo was like the Bowman first chase this past year in, uh, in draft, I believe. Or not draft, sorry, in, uh, Bowman. <clears throat> oh, 
Cooper Kinney, Simone Juan. We have an Anthony Volpe to 25. Christian Hernandez to 99. He was a big prospect too. And a Luis Verdugo to 250. Damn, he's already number eight. Yeah, there's a couple of prospects that we're going to be seeing playing the MLB this year, I think, obviously. Uh, I think even Volpe might be playing for the Yankees this year. While everybody was chasing Jason Dominguez, should have been chasing Volpe in 2020. What happened with Jason Dominguez, Terry? He hit a home run the other day in spring training. I believe he was like 17 years old when they signed him. So, I mean, <laughs> the dude's still not even like 19 or 20. He's still super young. Uh, Wilman Diaz to 50. We got Noel to 250 for Cleveland. And then a Daniel Vasquez to 99. I mean, some people still believe in them. Nothing wrong with that. I mean, they could be right or they could be wrong. I mean, if they're right, they're the, the they're geniuses, right? For sticking through it. If they're wrong, then we're gonna label them as dummies. But we don't know. Everybody wants to chase that high of like a trout, you know, like Acuna, Soto, where you hop on them at such a young age and just really hope that they make it. Volpe, Santana, Andrew Painter, yeah, Eddie Leonard to 75, Noah Miller to 399, and look at that, very nice, Ricardo Cabrera, uh, Dios y Familia, inscribed, El Cavi, one of one actually. Look at that. That's a cool one. And uh, that is for the Cincinnati Reds, Michael L. And Noah Miller for the Twins. It is definitely insane, man. I think his Super Fractor one one went for like 400000 But like I said, it's the, it's the whole Trout effect. I mean, if people knew that Trout was going to be this good, I mean, obviously, they would have paid a lot more for Trouts back in the day when they were worth nothing. But let's just say, oh, well, it's hypothetical, obviously, right? Dominguez does turn out to be a stud. The guy that paid $400,000 for that card is it's just a fraction, right? Because that card could be millions of dollars. Crazy to think about that, but it's true. You know, but that's a big if for sure. That probably a lot of us are not willing to take. But those guys are just obviously super, super rich and they're willing to do that. They'll lose money on some cards and they'll make a ton of money on other cards. It, it doesn't matter. That's just, they're in an elite class. Carson Williams, Lewis, Edison Paulino to 50, Curtis Mead to 250. And then Danny DeAndrade, Minnesota Twins and Tampa Bay Rays.
All right, last box here, guys. Matt McLean to 75. Nice Roderick Arias to 99 for the Yankees. That's Josh. And then Jason Morabel. 250. Of course, Roderick was the top uh, first in the last Bowman as well. Still using the same Bowman picture, too. All right, nice, nice half case right here, guys. Maybe this is a hot case. So there you go, folks. That was Inception Baseball. Eight box half caser, number three. Of course, we did manage to get a one on one, which I'll take a nice photo of that right now. Got some good names. The Jackson Sharia to five was awesome as well. Wish that was autographed. That would have been awesome. But all in all, some good, good names here, guys. Again, second half should be in the store. If it isn't already, I'll post it up. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.